Hello, I'm Neil Cannon, and I wanted to give you a quick synopsis of what you're going to find in the Vitality Code. This was brand new last month, August 2023, and is the next level of uh, all of my teachings and research and results further to my last book, The Vitality Code. And if you've read that or heard about it, it's all about chronic inflammation, which is the underlying cause of chronic illness. In fact, The Guardian spoke about chronic inflammation as being 2023's hottest health topic. See what they did there? It really is like a flame in the body and the body presents symptoms to us depending on our genetic code. For me, that was eczema for 30 years. And it wasn't until my dad had a stroke when I had my wake up call and researched the condition that led to his stroke, which was also behind my eczema. So I went on a strict anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle and guess what? It went away by addressing the cause, not by just simply masking the symptoms with creams, moisturizers, toxic, both of them steroids, moisturizers, antibiotics when it got really bad, all of which cause harm. So I'm all about getting to the cause of whatever your symptoms are. And for a lot of people, they can get results with what I call the physical pillar alone. Diet, exercise, looking into toxins, internal to the body, external to the body. And for a lot of people, they need to go deeper. That's why I talk about the emotional pillar, the mental pillar, and the energetic pillar as well. Let's talk about the emotional one quickly. A lot of us can relate to how chronic stress creates illness. If we are living in a constant state of fight or flight, you might not realize you are, but in these current times, we are often living in fight or flight without knowing it because we're constantly responding to demands and deadlines and pressures. And it's as if we're trying to escape a saber tooth tiger back in the olden days. And it's kind of like a moderate state of fight or flight, which leaves us living by the hormones of stress, which weakens the gut, which, me which means the immune system, 70 to 80% of the immune system is located in and around the gut and it weakens the gut. So we must do what we can to bring the body back into a place of harmony so the body can heal itself. And so we're not living by the hormones of stress. There's a number of tools that I have which can really help bring the body back into a place of harmony and coherence so you can actually supercharge your immune system and en enable your body to heal itself. The other part of the emotional pillar is releasing trapped emotions and trauma. Now, if trauma is a weighted word for you, think of it as trapped energy. And whenever we go through life, we experience these events. One of my favorite sayings ever is the organs weep the tears the eyes refuse to shed. That's William Osler, father of modern medicine. The organs weep the tears the eyes refuse to shed. If we trap energy in our body, we can trap this energy in organs, in muscles, in bones, and we can get pain throughout the body, lower back pain, migraines, elbow pain, shoulder pain. It's often trapped energy, and we can release it very, very quickly. So I've got some techniques to help you to do that, which can get you results very, very quickly. And it's often the ultimate cause of chronic illness, including really advanced symptoms such as cancer and heart disease. I call them symptoms for a reason. They are symptomatic of the underlying cause. The other piece is the emotional, or another pillar is the emotional pillar. Think about the placebo effect and how the power of the mind can heal the body. It's a scientifically proven phenomenon. Through the sheer power of belief, by taking a pill that you think is actually a pill with substance in it, with chemicals in it, if that's an empty pill, it's a sugar pill, an inert pill, through the sheer power of the belief, your brain chemist can secrete a whole concoction of chemicals in your body conducive to healing. That is how remarkably powerful the mind is. Now on the flip side, you've got the nocebo effect. The nocebo effect can actually create illness through thought. We can create vitality through thought alone, or we can create illness through thought alone. So we wanna flip that nocebo and use the placebo for advantage. Another important piece of the mental pillar is getting really crystal clear on your vitality vision. Because without that, none of this is easy at all. Or it can be, but it's easier if you have a vision and you are inspired by this vision, so powerful that you are kind of guided towards it rather than have to use motivation to kick you into action. I have flies flying around my face. I'm in Baja and it's that time of year. It's amazing. <laughs> 
Thank you, flies and nature. Nature is amazing. Nature heals in so many ways. I don't think bobos in the eyes heal, but nature heals. I'm grounded as we talk. That's in the book. The body electric, principles of the body electric, also in the physical pillar, understanding how we're wired up like a house and how we can reverse engineer illness, much like an electrician can reverse engineer why your lights not flick or why your lights flickering in the house. The body is amazing. It wasn't designed to be complicated. It might be complex, but it's not complicated to figure out, really. We just need to figure out what's blocking it from healing itself. We need to step out of the way to allow this profound device, this instrument of consciousness, to heal itself. It's that good. Think about the intelligence that created us from a sperm and an egg and the immune system. It is immaculate. It's incredible. So my aim with you is to help you to get back into that knowing of the supreme intelligence of your body to heal itself, because it does. My opinion, based on the science of epigenetics, is the science of epigenetics tells us that the body will heal anything if we can create an environment in the body conducive to healing. That's amazing. Even if you're born with a defective gene and you're one of the two to five percent of the population with a true defective gene, you can still heal that. And it's all about creating the environment within the body conducive to healing. My book, The Vitality Code, is gonna help you to at least put you on the roadmap to do that. And the final pillar is when things get super, super exciting. This is the energy pillar. You might have seen some of my posts on attending Joe Dispenza retreats and Dr. Bruce Lipton, who's the father of epigenetics. There is so much magic available to us, so much magic available to us, and people have spontaneous remissions all over the world by understanding the power of energy, meditation, scientifically proven to change your biology for the better, visualization, mental rehearsal, heart and brain coherence, just a few strategies to really gain power and tap into this world of energy, this intelligence that created us. That is when things get so exciting and I consider this like a reward for going down your vitality journey. It's understanding us at the energy level. It's at the top of the hierarchy of healing, I call it. It's, it's energy, it's then mental, it's then emotional, and it's then physical. The physical is where most people start because it's most tangible and is where most people get results quickly. But as we get, go down our vitality journey, we go up and up and up and we ascend to the energy level and we remember that we are energy beings before we are physical. We remember that we are vibration, that we are energy frequency and vibration and the body can heal when we raise our energy it's really that good. <laughs> and that's why I'm so excited to be people's coaches, to guide them on this journey. Because what comes out the other side of a crisis is often so remarkable. A crisis, let's talk about health, an incurable illness or some kind of new symptom. But it, a crisis could be also something else. It could be a financial problem, relationship challenges, some kind of addictions that you just can't get rid of. We do the work and we go within I once heard a shaman say to me, do you know what incurable means? You have to go in to cure. When we go in, inward, and we do the investigation and become problem solvers, we really can reverse engineer our illness. Is that good? <laughs> the body is phenomenal. And that's the biggest message I want to convey to you. The body can heal, I want to say everything. Because I've, I've helped people reverse so many things now. You can look at my website for some of these kind of results. Pick a name of symptoms. I can't say every symptom by, by any means, but I've helped with so many things. And on my podcast, I've helped people, I've interviewed people who have reversed a myriad of incurable illnesses. There's a formula, and that formula is here. Hit the link below this video to learn more about the book, and I invite you to purchase it. And if you'd like a helping hand, I can be your partner in health. I offer an online course for men at the moment. I'm, I want to do one for men and women, but I do have one just for, for men right now. And my client work is for men and women. So thank you for watching. This is a long video, not that long, but now you know more about the Vitality Code. I'm Neil Cannon. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching.